वेलकम वेलकम माय डियर फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर राजेंद्र रघुवीर देशपांडे फ्रॉम पुणे महाराष्ट्र स्टेट इंडिया वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय आयुर्वेदा एकेडमी यूट्यूब चैनल एज यू नो दिस चैनल इज फॉर द मेडिकल स्टूडेंट्स फॉर द मेडिकल डॉक्टर्स एंड द प्रोफेसर्स एंड द पेशेंट्स एंड फॉर द कॉमन मैन सो दिस आयुर्वेदा एकेडमी इज फॉर एवरी एंड बाय एवरीबडी सो यू कैन ऑल्सो सजेस्ट मी फ्यू थिंग एंड आई विल ऑल्सो ट्राई टू शेयर माई नॉलेज एंड एक्सपीरियंस today's topic is related with the family planning so of course not only students but the couples who have just married or the girlfriend or the boyfriend or any family is discussing about the marriage then the new couples the newly married couple they must understand this basically concept of family planning that means many people especially it people after marriage they want to wait for one or two minutes just for enjoyment of both of them and then they decide about the pregnancy so to prolong the phenomenon of pregnancy uh, we can use the condoms then there, there is a facility of the uh, what you can say the contraceptive pills and the copper tea but what we have discussed is already about the copper tea but copper tea is not inserted immediately after marriage that is the preventive measures in the family planning procedure after you get one or two children that means it's a prolongation of the second pregnancy but before first pregnancy there is a best alternative is a safe period that means where we can make a intercourse uh, the safe period everybody should know that means from the fifth day of menstrual cycle uh, up to the what you can say just five days afterwards but this middle part of the menstrual cycle is very very unsafe so in that period nobody should uh, intercourse otherwise it's a be best to after say for example 17 18 days then that period also safe but only safe period should not be followed what doctors always recommend gynecologists and all these people family physicians they say the condom can take the precaution of not getting pregnant and also there is a chance to avoid the sexual transmitted diseases like for example syphilis gonorrhea lgv and also that your aids or the hiv so okay we are continuing with the oral contraceptive pills oc pills they are the hormonal pills some are purely estrogen some are purely progesterone or many many of them are the mixed pills that is estrogen and the progesterone so what they actually do this is a continuation of the family planning video or the class number 1 and this is the second video of family planning so i request the viewers who are seeing this video they may be confused so what is the beginning sir so you please go and see my first video of family planning part 1 and this is family planning part 2 this is the part of swastha vrutta subject in the third year bms this is like a class of swastha vrutta okay so what these oral contraceptive pill when the lady is taking every day that pill for the 21 days and then there is a gap of 7 days uh, with uh, the inert pill like the ferrous sulfate iron tablets are there and again the cycle is going uh, the packet is available for 28 days but 21 days are the real real hormonal pills and 8 or 7 pills are just iron pills okay so inhibit this oral contraceptive pill progesterone also inhibit tubal motility that is fallopian tubes because the ovum is coming from the uh, ovary and the uh, The sperm is entering to the vagina and they meet in the fallopian tubes central part is the uterus on the both side fallopian tubes and at the uh, bottom of the fallopian tubes are the ovaries these are the rough structure that i'm giving you explanation by just uh, making the my movement of the hands but you can see on the google images you can find this picture of female reproductive system you can see everything uterus garbhashaya fallopian tubes jiske dwara beech ka vahan hota hai ovaries अंड बोलते हैं उसको हमारे पुरुष में जैसे टेस्टिस होते हैं लेडीज में ओवम ओवरिज होते हैं वहां ऊजेनेसिस की प्रक्रिया होती है ओवम निर्माण होता है ठीक है तो दे ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ द स्पर्म नेचुरली दिस विल डिले द ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ स्पर्म एंड द ओवम टू द यूटेराइन कैविटी दे विल टेक सम टाइम एंड इन दैट इट इज लाइक अ प्रिवेंशन ऑफ द यूनियन ऑफ दैट मेल गेमिट एंड फीमेल गेमिट इफेक्टिवनेस just as usual we will mark the topic so that you can concentrate oral contraceptives of combined type estrogen progesterone 100% effective 
to prevent the pregnancy. So OC pills is the best way to prevent the pregnancy. Family planning program. Okay. Now, but 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 there are some risk and there are some benefits. Oral contraceptives introduced 1960s. During the period of 1970s, when everybody is using that oral contraceptive, after using of 5, 10, 15 years, then the scientists noticed some adverse effects. Mainly, these adverse effects are on the heart, cardiovascular system. The patient, after consuming the oral contraceptive piece for a long time, the ladies can get heart attack. Don't afraid, don't get afraid because I am not here to make you fear. I am just telling you so the doctor will decide which contraceptive pill in which age and which, which lady. So this is better not to take by off your own because doctor will check your blood pressure, doctor will take the history, whether you had any previous uh, what it has a hereditary tendency of heart attack and then they will select the proper tablet. So oral contraceptive pills are not bad, but the control to taking of that pills is very important because there is also problem DVT, deep vein thrombosis. There will start the calf pain in the leg. The lady will complain calf pain. Doctor must do the Doppler study to study whether there is a deep vein thrombosis. Okay, so these effects were associated with. Can you concentrate my cursor? Estrogen component. Estrogen is making this arm. Remember these words. Okay. Next. These are the details of the adverse effect of OC pills. Details of adverse effects of OC pills. Just important keywords I am mentioning. I am not going to tell you each and every word and each and every line. First effect will be on the heart and blood vessels that is cardio mean heart and vascular means vessel cardiovascular uh, effects okay so there may be if the lady is using this pills after the age of 40 years there are chances you can, the lady can get heart attack and mortality will increase because of the cardiovascular causes book next carcinogenesis there again again it is not for all. Newly married couple, don't get afraid. OC pills are the best pills for the family planning. But doctor will decide. Increased risk of cervical cancer is possible. Next is a metabolic effect. Some ladies may get elevation of the blood pressure, hypertension. So what is simple thing? When the any female is taking OCPs, she must visit to the concerned gynecologist periodically. Every month, doctor will check your blood pressure. If necessary, doctor will do the ECG, etc. etc. So then serum lipid, alteration in the serum lipid. So every after three months, the lady can do lipid profile test, blood test in the laboratory. Simple. Just I am saying that young ladies should not afraid. After marriage, you can definitely with the consultation of gynecologist, you can take these pills. Don't get afraid. But just this is my duty as a doctor to explain scientifically what are there. Elevation of blood glucose, what you can do? You can periodically, every after three or sixth month, blood sugar. Simple is a glycosylated hemoglobin. HbA1ac. You can do that. Okay. Next. Other side effects are liver disorders. Again. So doc doctor can you tell that means uh, this means that every lady should do all this test every year. No, 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 no. I am just saying that some ladies are prone. They can get this. Only those ladies can do these things. For example, there is a possibility, rare, rare possibility hepatocellular adenoma liver problem or cholestatic jaundice obstruction in the bile duct obstructive jaundice okay so we can do the liver function test of the concerned lady to rule out 
these possibilities or these dangers. Now I am shifting on the second page of our discussion and that is a continuation of OC pills. We are discussing OC pills. What are the adverse? This question is very common in the written examination as well as for the oral. Now, lactation. Preparations containing high amount of estrogen adversely affect the quality and constituents of breast milk. So naturally, when the lady is uh, giving the baby breast milk for six months, better not to take the contraceptive pills. Use the other measures like condom, for example. Okay? And also, if still you feel it is a risky, better way consult to the gynecologist. Ectopic pregnancy. That means the lady is taking the OCPs for a longer duration and she gets pregnant. There is a possibility that when she is having progesterone only pills, she can get ectopic pregnancy. Do you remember what is ectopic pregnancy? Usually, the fertilization of the ovum and the sperm, male and female eggs, they meet in the fallopian tube. This is very clear. And then within a period of seven days, it comes in the central uterus. And there the baby is uh, nine months. She gets the nutrition and the growth is taking place. Sometimes these pregnant type of the cells, they get implanted outside the uterus. Maybe in the fallopian tubes, maybe in the perotium, per peritoneum. So outside the uterus, if the pregnancy cells sticking, that is called as an ectopic pregnancy. In a simple language I am explaining, lot of description is there, but simple. Pregnancy cells attached to the outside of the uterus, that is ectopic pregnancy. We are discussing oral contraceptive pills. Repeatedly I am telling you because some people are seeing this video after some time. Okay, so I am talking, Professor Deshpande is talking about OC pills. Adverse effect. Breast tenderness is one of the side effects. Then weight gain. Some ladies, they start obesity because of the OC pills. Then there is a possibility that lady will get the headache and also the migraine attacks more frequently when she starts the OC pills. Then bleeding disturbances. Sometimes their menstrual cycle is getting disturbed because of the OC pills. These adverse effects are not common. So no single lady should get afraid of oral contraceptive pills. They are very safe. They are 100% prevent pregnancy. Now, next topic is beneficial effects of the OCPs, oral contraceptive pills. Okay. See, 100% effective in preventing the pregnancy. In addition to that, in addition to that, there are some benefits. Huh? Like this ko bolte na, complimentary gift diya hai aapko. Aap OCP se to pregnancy prevent kar sakti hi hai. Fir protection against at least six diseases. OCP can prevent benign breast disorders including the fibrocystic disease and fibroadenoma. OCP can prevent ovarian cyst can be prevented. Iron deficiency anemia can be prevented. Okay. Pelvic inflammatory disease, PID, can be prevented by OCPs. Ectopic pregnancy also can be prevented and ovarian cancer also can be prevented. Can be. Can be. My words are very clear. Huh? Huh? Can be. May give protection. May. Can. These are the probabilities. This is not 100%. Okay. So, now we are discuss. Sorry. We will discuss the contraindication where the doctor or the family physician absolutely not using OCPs. They advise copper tea, they advise condom, they advise other things. But absolute contraindication, no, no, no. No OCP, no OCP, no OCP. When the lady is having already breast cancer, when the lady is having already genital cancer, cervical for example, already she is having some liver diseases, the lady is also having already, already cardiac problem, heart problem, hypertension. No use. No use of OCPs. Okay. Now I am going the next page, page number three. But I will have to move on the my left side. Here I have mentioned. Now it is very interesting. Dr. Deshpande is improving. Third page. Okay. Now we are saying 
where the doctor is trying to avoid OC pills. Doctor say, no, 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 no. It's better. You should not take the OC pills. You can go for other family planning method. There are N number of methods. Why are you worry? Don't take tension. Okay. Special problems. After the age of 40, better, better avoid OC pills. If the lady is smoking in the foreign countries or even India, I have, I'm have seeing a lot of girls are smoking. These ladies should not take the OC pills. After the over 50, 35 years, be cautious. Be cautious. By hypertension, better under control. It should be under control. Chronic renal diseases, better should be under doctor's supervision. These are the migraine people, epileptic, uh, this type of the ladies, nursing mothers in the first six months when the delivery has taken place. Diabetes, the lady already having diabetes, the lady having the gallbladder disease, gallbladder stone, cholecystitis, cholelithiasis, huh? then history of menstrual cycle, infrequent bleeding, history of amenorrhea, no, contraceptive pills, no. Can you see step by step Dr. Deshpande is going? Now, we are talking how much time or the duration of OCPs use when we can use oral contraceptive pills, family planning, avoiding pregnancy. The pill should be used primarily in the younger woman from the age of 20, 25, 30, okay. Above 35 years should go for other techniques, other methods of contraception. Beyond 40 years, pills should not be prescribed. No, no, no. When the lady is above 40 years, no OC pills, no OC pills, no OC pills. I think in spite of reading the books, Dr. Deshpande is giving a lot of proper instructions and that goes into the brain. Okay. Now we will discuss something, another topic, but continuation of OCPs that is called as a deport formulations. Very interesting. Deport. D-E-P-O-T. Please write down the keyword deport. The need for deport formulation because which are highly effective, then reversible. So uh, what is that reversible? Jab tak aap OCPs le rahe hain, tab tak pregnancy nahi hogi. If you stop taking the OC pills, yes, the lady can conceive. No problem at all. It is not a permanent, so temporary. Temporary prevention of pregnancy. These are, deport is always long active. Deport effect. These tablets, these injections have a long effect. That is, that's why it is called as a depot, depot, depot. Deport. Depot, depot, depot. They are estrogen free for spacing pregnancy in which a single administration can give the effect for several months or year and cannot then lady get the stress of pregnancy. The injectable contraceptives, subdermal implants below the skin, subdermal implants and vaginal rings come in this category. So I request my students, please write down the three types of deport. Three types of deport, long acting, long acting, long acting. What are they? Number one, please write down. Injectable, injections. Injectable contraceptive. Subdermal implants, please write down. And vaginal rings. Again, repeat. Or injectable contraceptives subdermal implants and vaginal rings. My dear friends, now let us see the first part. Injectable contraceptives. Injectable contraceptive. Deport. Long-acting. Deport. Long-acting. Deport. Long-acting. Now, there are two types. Progesterone only injectables. Only progesterone. DMPA. Dumpa. Dumpa, Dumpa, DMPA. Remember, this is very interesting, just making a joke and creating the confidence with you. Dumpa, DMPA, Dumpa, 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 Dumpa. Okay, 
that is deport d for dumpa me metro metro metroxy progesterone acetate deport metroxy progesterone acetate dumpa net n net n net n net n net n that is nor ethesterone in an tet nor ethesterone in an tet these are the generic names so you can these are the brand names net n then dumpa sc dumpa sc dumpa subcutaneous dumpa subcutaneous dumpa deport metroxy progesterone acetate this is used since 1960s the standard dose intramuscular injection 150 mg every 3 months super na fantastic so no cut cut no stress of taking every day tablet every day tablet forget oh my god what will happen no worry no worry one injection three month relax on the calendar mention next injection on the calendar mention next injection every after three month go to the doctor take the injection relax no inject no stress of taking the every day tablet that is why depot dumpa depot dumpa very good okay it suppress the ovulation and has direct action on the fallopian tubes and on the production of cervical mucus side effects of dumpa weight gain oh be careful you should take low calorie food and walking is a must exercise is a must of course there will be effect of hormonal but you can counteract that effect with the modified lifestyle irregular menstrual bleeding bad luck you can accept little bit then prolonged infertility long time you cannot get the pregnant next is a net n net n that is nor ethesterone enantet has been used as a contraceptive in 1966 that means after this however it has been less extensively used we will go on the next page by shifting my cursor on the right side here today i have marked some uh, uh, to understand where we are i think we are on the page number 4 uh, yes i'm sorry net n is used less than the dumpa it is given intramuscular dose of 200 mg every 60 days that means only after 2 month previously it was dumpa 3 month this is 2 month in inhibit is stop ovulation and effects is also on the cervical mucus administration the initial injection of both dumpa and net n should be given during the first 5 days i am sorry i have not marked for you okay okay now it's better it is always but you see na it's colorful na you can concentrate all over there this is a new style you cannot find anywhere on the youtube such as type of teaching very systematic dr deshpande is there he is confidently telling you something and the script is in front of you can make the screenshot also well. you can download the video everything is possible and long term it will be hundreds of years there will be whether i will be there or not but the videos will be there and you can learn all the time ayurveda allopathy and everything okay so the initial injection of dumpa and net n should be given during the first 5 days of the menstrual period everybody knows that both are given deep intramuscular this is very important not here not here no no dumpa net n not here buttocks buttocks give on the buttocks ha huh? gluteus can you see here gluteus maximus muscle is on the buttock so give this injection not on the arm but on the buttocks this you should remember you should write it down in the exam the injection site should never be massaged this is a common mistake done by the any any patient any patient adult children father that means lady gents everybody after injection no 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 for this injection don't rub i am just demonstrating because i cannot show you the buttocks but you have to give on the buttocks and ask the lady beforehand before giving the injection tai he te cholaycha nahi bar ka don't rub this my 
miss or sorry misses x y z please don't drop this injection that is more important dampa sc 104 mg a new lower dose formulation of dampa it contains 104 mg of dampa it is given 3 month interval that is better na always better dampa sc is injected c under the skin because subcutaneous not on the buttock because it is sc na subcutaneous under the skin in the upper thigh or the abdomen like insulin injection okay dampa sc should not be injected intramuscularly dampa sc should not be injected intramuscularly dampa sc should not be injected intramuscular intramuscular no on the buttocks clear okay side effects disruption of the normal menstrual cycle some ladies not all the unpredictable bleeding sometimes and amenorrhea no menstrual cycle the potential long term effect of dampa and net n are yet not known because it is they are recent so not many people are using that most people are maladi 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 very few young couples but after this lecture many people will understand oh deshpande was telling about injections deshpande was telling about 3 month one can take one only injection okay this way we will go further to learn more and more about these contraceptive pills or the majors now we are talking depot eh? depot depot dampa contraindication cancer of the breast no dampa all genital cancer no dampa undiagnosed abnormal uterine bleeding no dampa a suspected malignancy anywhere no dampa the particular advantage of dampa and net n is that they are very effective mostly the regular taking pill no stress long lasting and reversible when you stop that injections within next 3 months the lady can be pregnant very simple okay so we will go on the next page first on the left side you are quite supporting my teachings huh? i am i am very much uh, thank you for you depo now common trade names huh? this is depot dampa what is dampa is also short form of generic name dampa is not a brand name dampa is a short form of the generic name that is depot medrox z progesterone acetate this is a short form but what is in market you can get depo provera depo provera injection or magistron injection this injection one intramuscular injection every 3 month next this is dampa sc 104 mg this is 150 okay depo sub to provera depo sub to provera 104 one subcutaneous injection every 3 month so these are both 3 month now we will go little bit up to see the another injections these are all the family planning injections family planning to avoid the pregnancy noris direct name of the injection brand name you have to prescribe to the lady bring it from the far a pharmaceutical uh, shop medical shop they will get noristeret noristeret that is norethisterone enantat that is net and 200 mg only one intramuscular injection after two month every calendar write down on the calendar then next day automatically before one day you go to the doctor you take the injection cyclofem cyclofem injection that contains a lot of thing that is medrox z progesterone acetate 25 mg and estradiol cypionet 5 mg one intramuscular injection every month first was every 3 month then only 2 month and every month cyclofem but it is also better no it is also better no in spite of taking daily oc pills maladi maladi that is better injectable then nori gynon nori gynon injection 
that is net and 50 mg plus stradiol valeriate 5 mg only intramuscular injection every month i hope you are very much now familiar with this deport preparations okay now combined injectable contraceptives these injectables contain progesterone and estrogen they are given every month plus or minus 3 days that means there is a chance that you can have one or two days before or after you can take don't worry be happy combined injectable contraceptive act mainly by suppression is stop of ovulation the cervical mucus is also affected mainly by progesterone and this prevents the sperm penetration no chance cervical mucus will kill the sperms okay <laughs> then prevent the sperm penetration endometrium changes also occur which makes it unfavorable inside that lining will get disturbed no pregnancy chance no chance so that is the effect of combined injectable uh, contraceptives now i am moving my cursor and we will go a little bit up to learn about deport preparations okay just wait for a few minutes i sorry the sixth page okay so here you can see the contraindications are confirmed and suspected pregnancy there is a contraindication don't give these injections past or present evidence of thromboembolic disorders don't give these deport injections cardiovascular or coronary disease don't give deport contraceptive injections migraine don't give malignancy of the breast and diabetes with vascular complication don't give oral contraceptive injections sorry not oral contraceptive injections now we will discuss about second part is a subdermal implants this is also the way you can prevent the pregnancy subdermal implants are known as nor plant say five times nor plant nor plant nor plant for developed for long term contraception this contains a lot of things six that is a celiastic capsules containing 35 mg levonor gestrel most recent devices comprise fabrication of levonor gestrel this forget about that two small rods okay the celiastic capsules or the rods are implanted doctor will do that beneath the skin of the forearm here under under can you see this forearm forearm beneath the skin implant subdermal implant here subdermal implant subdermal implant don't forget family planning subdermal implant okay effective contraception is provided for oh my god for you years protection no malady no injection subdermal implant fantastic okay the main disadvantage are irregularities of the menstrual bleeding and surgical procedure yes it is a invasive technique little bit local anesthesia put it inside etc etc so minor surgery is there okay and to insert and to remove the implant both surgery is required and always there will be lot of instruction how to use this forearm what is the touch of the water and all these things but that i am not going to talk detail about that next uh, interesting way of contraception or the family planning is vaginal rings can you see here vaginal rings vaginal rings containing this is a hormone levonorgestrel synthetic levonorgestrel is found effective the ring is worn in the vagina for 3 weeks of the cycle and removed in the fourth cycle that means 3 months she can use on the fourth month another way of contraception again she can wear it for the 3 months now new thing in spite of the teaching everybody now knows about this many many couples very young chaps uh, they know about this post contraceptional method that is termination of pregnancy that is also called as oral aborificient 
by which by taking oral tablet abortion can occur but my humble and kind request this is exclusively for the knowledge for the doctors no viewer is expected this is disclaimer to use this particular anything tablets by themselves absolutely not i request and i also warn that is disclaimer huh? so what is that mifay pristun mifay pristun is in combination with misoprostol is 90% successful in terminating pregnancies of up to 9 weeks duration with minimum complication only by taking the tablet abortion can take place okay the commonly used regimen is mifepristone 200 mg orally on number day 1 followed by misoprostol 800 mg vaginally either immediately or within 6 to 8 hours commercially it comes as a mtp kit mtp kit name market name is a mtp kit having combi pack mtp medical termination of pregnancy i warn again i request again this information is exclusively for the doctors not for the common man don't go to the shop and bring this and use it no not at all okay this is a mtp medical termination of pregnancy that means the lady is not taking contraceptive malady the lady is has not taken any injections for family planning lady is not having property and they have the sex and omg oh my god pregnancy has taken place what to do they are afraid of pregnancy they want to abort that but it should be under supervision of registered medical practitioner okay we will go on the next page and try to see the further information about this tablet okay this is mtp kit huh? m t p medical termination of pregnancy kit mifepristone 200 mg one tablet and misoprostol 200 mg four tablets that is total 800 micro mg contraindication where one cannot use this m t p kit absolutely don't use history allergic to the mifepristone or misoprostol or other any prostaglandin type of the medicines confirmed or suspected ectopic pregnancy don't use mtp kit don't use mtp kit in ectopic i have just now explained what is ectopic pregnancy that pregnant pregnancy cells that they get attached outside the uterus in the fallopian tubes around the ovary in the peritoneum that is ectopic ectopic pregnancy don't use this thing then intrauterine device is in place don't use then chronic adrenal failure adrenal gland you know in above the kidney supra renal gland or adrenal gland if that is not working properly you history you know that lady is having this problem don't use it then hemorrhagic disorders bleeding problems don't use this type of the mtp tablets or mtp kit my dear friends i think uh, very much interesting topic that just we have finished within the last uh, 45 or the 50 minutes but till we have the time good time to discuss many thing and i am going to tell you definitely by some audio information the revision of the swasthavrutta paper 2 swastha vritta paper 2 and i would like to tell you of course there will be at some time as per the time permits there will be presentation with the ppt also but why not to make the revision by oral conversation so just carefully listen what i am talking right now first swastha vritta paper 2 health statistics statistics very important branch huh? statistics when you will do any any viewer any student md or ms or even the fourth year now you have the subject research methodology and medical statistics research methodology and medical statistics this subject is now on the fourth year bms maybe they will delete it when md and ms they still have the first year this subject research methodology 
I have the fantastic book on the research methodology. On the Amazon, you will get that book. Publisher is Manakarnika Publishing Pune. If anybody is interested to buy research methodology book written by Professor Dr. Rajendra Deshpande and also their uh, colleagues like Dr. Subhash Ranadi is there, Dr. Sachin Sarpoddar is there, Dr. Ila Bhor, Dr. Mr. Santosh Bhor is there. We five people, we are the editors. We have done that great job. Research methodology and medical statistics book is available on the Amazon. It is also available with Manakarnika publication. Those who are interested, they can WhatsApp me on 922-681-10630. Health information and basic medical statistics is near to the mathematics. Huh? But that data collection from the society, we collect the data, we analyze the data, and we predict some possibilities. Health information is an integral part of national health system. We, the, the government is always gathering the information, gathering the data. A mechanism for the collection of the data, processing the data with the computers, analysis and transmission of information is required for operating health services. Again, I repeat, this is the importance of statistics. What is the importance? We do, that means government is doing or the colleges are doing collection of the data, processing of the data, analysis of the data and transmission of information is necessary to make the action plan for prevention of any disease or for taking curative action. Objective of the health information. Why, why we require the, this health information? To provide reliable, Vishwas are reliable, up to date. Aaj miti mein corona ki status kya hai pure chagat mein. To iske liye kya chahiye? We require the data. In the India, how many patients are there? In the America, how many patients are there? In the China, how many patients are there? We require, we will go to the Google and we'll search that health information. Up to date, that is what is up to date. Till date, what is the situation? Timely and reasonably complete information about the health management. Use of health information. There are six uses, six uses, please write down, of the health information. Before that, just to remind my viewers and the students, what now, our family planning topic at the moment is complete. Now Dr. Deshpande is discussing health statistics, revision, health statistics, Swasthya Vishayak Sankhiki in the syllables. Last, paper two, last point. Swasthya Vishayak Sankhiki statistics. So I am now talking use of health information. There are six points. Number one, to measure the health status of the people. Health status of the people. Number two, local or national or international comparisons. Comparison. Number three, for planning, for administration, and for effective management of the health. This is the third use of health information. Fourth use of health information, assessing the health services, assessment, which PHC, Prathamik Arugya Kendra, Primary Health Center is working better. Why? So this will be informed by this health information, health statistics. Fifth use, assessing the attitude and degree of satisfaction with the health system. And last is for the research purpose. This health statistics, health information will be useful. Next question, SAQ question will be, sources of health information. Sources, which are the sources? 
there are six sources. Six. Number one, census. The total process of collecting, compiling, and publishing demographic and economic and social data pertaining to specific time or the times to all the persons in the country is called as a census. Second, registration of vital events like the birth and death. There are the government has the computer information. How many births this year, how many deaths this year, etc. Third point, source of health information, sample registration system. Sample registration system like dual record system. Whenever you enter into the hospital, they ask your the patient, they ask the patient's name, age, address, income, etc. etc. So this is called as a registration, and this is a good data for the health information. Fourth, where, where where from where we can get the information? Notification of disease. Some communicable diseases are expected to inform to the corporation or the, to the uh, uh, district level hospitals immediately by the doctor that in this my periphery, in the Kapila society, in the Pune city, I have a lot of patients with the jaundice. We, I must inform to the corporation. Next, hospital records. Government collect the different information from the different hospitals. Sixth point, environmental health data. Environmental, how this time the global warming is there, how they are affecting the human body, etc., etc. Next, next point is a presentation of statistical data. How that data is presented in front of the uh, social media, in front of the government, in front of the WHO, World Health Organization. There are several methods of presenting the data. Number one, you can prepare the tables. Simple. Serial number, name of the patient, age of the patient, then the disease. You can prepare the table. Number two, you can prepare the chart, flow chart. Okay. Then diagrams. You can present with the diagram. Graph. You can prepare different graphs, X and Y axis. Then you can make some pictures. And there you can make some specific curve. Now this, uh, for example, corona curve is coming down. So you can say like this. This is the Y axis. This is the X axis. And you can show that it is coming down. Okay. So that presentation. Study of vital data. Study of vital data. There is a birth and death rate. Birth and death rate. Crude birth rate. I am speaking slowly because some students are writing my notes. I am giving you the formula, my dear friends. Formula, how to get this number. Crude birth rate is equal to, please write down the formula. Number of live birth, number of live birth, which occurred, which occurred, please write down, in the population of, in the population of given geographical area, given in geographical area, comma, during a given year. That number of live birth, I want the number of live birth in the Pune city, in the Gokhale Nagar area. I want the number of live birth. Okay. Then divided by, I have to divide that number by the mid-year, mid-year total population, total population of the given Geographic during the same year. I will explain. Very simple. It's not too difficult. There is a division and multiplied by 1000. This formula is related with the crude birth rate. 
क्रूड बर्थ रेट प्लीज एटलीस्ट राइट डाउन दिस क्रूड बर्थ रेट इज इक्वल टू अगेन आई गिव इन द एग्जाम्पल आई टेक द एग्जाम्पल नंबर ऑफ लाइव बर्थ इन खारघर वन एग्जाम्पल नियर बॉम्बे खारघर एरिया नंबर ऑफ द लाइव बर्थ देयर डिवाइडेड बाय एंड वी आर टेकिंग इट फॉर द इयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री नाउ दिस इज टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर I want the number of live birth in the Kharagar in the year 2014. That number I will get. For example, it is like a hundred. Take it example divided by mid-year total population. That means in 2020, in the month of say example the June, what was the population in the Kharagar? What was the population in the Kharagar? Say for example, fifty thousand. Okay, so hundred divided by fifty thousand multiplied by one thousand. My dear viewers, you can just make a calculation and please write down in the comment box so I will understand that my videos are seen till the last last point. These videos are very informative, my dear friend. Don't see three five minutes is of no use. You will not get interest. So for getting the interest, see very carefully till the end. Next. causes of the high birth rate what are the causes of high birth rate number 1 we are talking now not our kharagar all over india all over india what is the causes of high birth rate number 1 early marriage at the age of 20 early marriage number 2 low level of literacy people don't understand that what is the exact marriage time how many the children the family should have what are your resources how much is your income nobody think about it just do the sex and procure the children that is very bad so this is called as a low level of literacy sakshata nahi hai logo mein gyan nahi hai desh pande ke video nahi dekhte aisi baat hai third traditional custom and habits traditional custom and habit So what is that? For example, in many even rural families, illiterate families, they believe that to get a child is a God gift. Bhagwan ki den hai. Ha, ऐसे बोलते हैं लोग. Bhagwan ki den hai. अरे आप दोनों मिलकर ये कर रहे काम और भगवान को क्यों बीच में ला रहे? Bhagwan ki den hai बोल. दो बच्चे होंगे, चार बच्चे होंगे, आठ बच्चे. नहीं या हम नहीं कर सकते. Bhagwan देता है. अरे Bhagwan देता है. आप तो फैमिली प्लानिंग कर सकते हैं डॉक्टर देश पांडे का लेक्चर सुन सकते हैं ऐसी बात है तो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ ट्रेडिशनल कस्टम एंड हैबिट्स ये मैं बता रहा हूं कि बर्थ रेट ज्यादा क्यों है इंडिया में तो जैसे मैंने कहा कि जल्दी शादी हो जाती है लोगों में साक्षरता ज्ञान नहीं है तीसरी कुछ मिसकनसेप्ट लोगों के मन में गैर समझ है, है ना और है एबसेंस ऑफ फैमिली प्लानिंग हैबिट आदत ही नहीं है उनको ये मालाडी का पता ही नहीं होता है कैसे लेने किधर मिलती है फ्री फ्री में मिलती है गवर्नमेंट में जानकारी ही नहीं है है ना तो इसलिए हमें क्या करना चाहिए साक्षरता बढ़ानी चाहिए नेक्स्ट लास्ट टॉपिक विद इन फोर मिनट्स डेथ रेट नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट डेथ रेट वी टॉक अबाउट बर्थ रेट नाउ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट डेथ रेट नंबर ऑफ डेथ विच ऑकर इन द पॉपुलेशन of a given geographical area during a given year the same formula same divided by divided by mid year total population of the given geographical area during the same year same to same only in spite of birth you place the word death and multiplication kisse karna hai aapko 1000 number dal kar multiplication karna hai समय में थोड़ी थोड़ी आ रही बात वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट लास्ट पॉइंट ऑफ द स्वस्थ वृत्त सब्जेक्ट एंड डॉक्टर देश पांडे गिवन वेरी नाइस आइडिया मेडिकल स्टेटिस्टिक्स कैसे लिखा है उधर स्वास्थ्य विषयक सांख्यिकी कल के लिखा है स्वास्थ्य विषयक सांख्यिकी हेल्थ स्टैटिस्टिक्स लास्ट पॉइंट फ्रॉम द स्वस्थ वृत्त पेपर टू थर्ड पॉइंट आफ्टर डेथ रेट इन्फंट मॉर्टेलिटी रेट जो बच्चे ना जन्म के बाद तुरंत मर जाते हैं उसको बोलते हैं इन्फंट मॉर्टेलिटी रेट द बेबीज दे गेट डाई इमीडिएटली आफ्टर द डिलीवरी नंबर ऑफ चिल्ड्रेन डाइंग अंडर वन ईयर ऑफ एज 
इसको ही इन्फेंट बोलते हैं ना एक साल से पहले मर गया वो तो उसको इन्फेंट बाय डेथ बोलेंगे डिवाइडेड बाय टोटल नंबर ऑफ लाइव बर्थ कितने मतलब पूरे के पूरे उनकी लाइफ चल रही है ऐसे कितने बच्चे हैं उस एरिया में उस हॉस्पिटल में डिवाइडेड बाय सॉरी अगेन आई रिपीट द फॉर्मूला नंबर ऑफ चिल्ड्रेन ड्यूरिंग अंडर वन ईयर ऑफ एज डिवाइडेड बाय टोटल नंबर ऑफ लाइव बर्थ मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वन थाउजेंड ओके दैट इज इन्फंट मॉर्टेलिटी रेट आई रिपीट इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ चिल्ड्रेन डाइंग डेथ अंडर वन ईयर ऑफ एज डिवाइडेड बाय टोटल नंबर ऑफ लाइव बर्थ मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वन थाउजेंड बर्थ रेट तो बढ़ रहा है बर्थ रेट तो बढ़ रहा है अच्छी बात है फिर डेथ रेट डेथ रेट कम हो रहा है ये भी अच्छी चीज है लोग मर नहीं रहे हैं तो उससे पॉपुलेशन बढ़ रही है हमारी इंडिया का प्रॉब्लम ऐसा है कि बर्थ रेट ज्यादा है और डेथ रेट अभी कम हो गया है क्यों कम हो गया है वाई द डेथ रेट हैज डिक्लाइन देर आर फाइव इंपॉर्टेंट कॉजेस प्लीज राइट डाउन death rate is declining number 1 mass control of the diseases jaise ki plague ka control pura kar diya hai humne abhi log bilkul marte nahi plague ke dwara but interesting aur bahut jaani maani si dawa mil rahi hai logon ko antibiotics hamare sath hai death nahi ho rahi hai death kam ho gayi hai diseases ke dwara log marte nahi abhi number 2 advances in the medical sciences bahut acche acche जो है ना डायग्नोस्टिक मेथड्स आ गए हैं ट्रीटमेंट आ गई है कैंसर से भी लोग बच रहे हैं तो ये अच्छी चीज है नंबर थ्री इम्पैक्ट ऑफ नेशनल हेल्थ प्रोग्राम जो भी गवर्नमेंट द्वारा प्रोग्राम चलाते हैं लेप्रेसी के बारे में ट्यूबरक्लोसिस के बारे में एच के बारे में तो लोगों में सज्ञानता बढ़ रही है लोग बचने से, मरने से बच रहे हैं फोर्थ इंप्रूवमेंट इन द फूड सप्लाई जैसे कि हमने देखा ना स्कूल में भी अभी मिड डे मिल मिल बोलते हैं ना मिड एम आई डी डे डी ए वाई मिल बोलते हैं उसी के द्वारा अच्छी तरह से पोषण हो रहा है बच्चों का तो डेथ कम हो गई अपने आप मारसमस क्वाशर कॉर जो अंडर नरिशमेंट प्रॉब्लम थे वो चल रहे हैं मतलब चल रहे हैं मतलब निकल गए हैं ठीक है फिफ्थ इज इंटरनेशनल एड जागतिक कुछ भी संगठना होती है उनके द्वारा जहां कहीं भूकंप हो जाता है जहां कभी फ्लड आते हैं कहा जो भी प्रॉब्लम्स आते हैं जिसको हम बड़ी मात्रा में क्या कहते हैं मिसहैप बोलते हैं वहां पर पूरे जगत से भारतवर्ष के लिए मदद आ जाती है और डेथ रेट जो है वो कम हो जाता है तो मेरे प्यारे दोस्तों ये था आज के टू टॉपिक्स डॉक्टर देश पांडे ने डिस्कस किए पहले वाला टॉपिक था फैमिली प्लानिंग और दूसरा वाला टॉपिक था सांख्यिकी है ना स्वास्थ्य विषय सांख्यिकी मेडिकल स्टेटिस्टिक्स माई डियर फ्रेंड्स ऑल द बेस्ट We will see you in the next lecture of Charak Uttaradha in the afternoon. Thank you very much. All the best. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.